Hi there, my name's Nick Todd, one of the elders here at City Church, and we're going to be talking walls. Now, this is the Berlin Wall behind me. You might recognise the photo, a fairly iconic shot of those uh, people smashing down the wall as the communist regime of uh, the USSR began to fall in Berlin. God has things to say about walls as well. And we're going to have a look at that with the story of Cornelius. Cornelius was the first Gentile in the world to become a Christian. Yeah. We read about it in Acts 10. Yeah. And it was a big deal. And when Peter went to see him, and we can see, we're going to look at this in Acts 10, Peter was a little bit uneasy. He said this, talking with him, that's Cornelius, Peter went inside. So he went into the house. He wasn't supposed to do that. And found a large gathering of people and he said to them, you are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with a Gentile or visit him. I mean, that's a big deal, isn't it? So he goes into this house. But God has shown me that I should not call any man impure or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. You see, in this uh, context that we're in right now with all the discussion around race and inequality and unfairness and injustice we must remember this what what uh, Peter himself was uh, told by God if you like that he should not call any man impure or unclean we're all created aren't we in the image of God doesn't matter what color we are what size we are what shape we are and so on how clever we are how rich we are poor we are we're all created in the image of God and there was a wall between Jews and Gentiles at this time literally a wall I mean in the temple there was a wall if you went through it it said on the sign you'll be dead yeah so you didn't go through that door if you like to the other part of the temple unless you were Jewish because there was a very clear wall separating Jews from Gentiles so when Cornelius became a Christian it was a watershed moment in the church and Paul picks up on it as well actually in Ephesians two he says this but now in verse 13 if you're looking but now in christ jesus you who were once far away that's you who were once far away have been brought near through the blood of christ for he himself is our peace who's made the two one and destroyed the barrier the dividing wall there's that word the wall of hostility he divided the wall of hostility between jews and Gentiles. Now often when we think about becoming a Christian we think about it from the perspective of here's me, there's God and the barrier between me and God has been broken and that's absolutely correct. But what we often forget is that just as the barrier between me and God is broken the barrier between me and you is broken as well. Yeah? We are brought together. The passage says actually we are now no longer foreigners and aliens but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household and it also says made made us one new man in him so actually the gospel brings us together so in this time of division and inequality and unfairness being just brought to our attention and appropriately so what should our response be well our response should be to remember that actually we are one new man in Christ that's you and me and the church together we have to be uh, united together there are no barriers we need to model this to the world the world is fractured there are fractures between different races different communities and so on we need to be a beacon of light to that world to say no 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 there's another way there's another way which is the church one new man united regardless of race culture and all the rest of it a friend of mine, John Peepy, wrote a great book about this called God's New Tribe. This was a long time ago now he wrote this. But he just talks about it from an African context with all, literally all the different tribes across Africa. And actually your tribal identity is nowhere near as important as your identity in Christ because they are brought together in Christ, one new man. And we are the same. So can I encourage us, when we, when we see the injustice in the world, and we're hearing about it, aren't we? The injustice, you know, the fact that if I get... Well, I ha I'm very unlikely to be stopped by the police compared to a black person. If I commit an offence and a black person commits an offence, I apparently I will perhaps get a shorter sentence than a black person. That is unfair. That is unequal. We need to speak up against these kinds of inequalities because, as 
Peter rightly identified, we are all created in God's image. We are all in him. We are all the same. And when we come together as, with Christ, we are one new man in him. So let's model as City Church, let's model what it is to be one new man in Christ. All equal before God. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.